What you guys? Are you catching me all time on the camera? Again, bro. <laughs> Yo guys and welcome back to another video on the Broken Logueros YouTube channel I have some exciting news for you guys and I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of the video what is happening But we have decided to start the respray process on the, on the champ And first thing on the list was the floor If you guys remember the first video where I introduced the champ I told you guys that the floor is rusted and that we need to do some heavy rust repair and I have the buck here today at my buddy John and Ryan's place to get the welding done. Oh, well, today's actually day two. What I want to do now is I actually want to throw the clips in that we got yesterday because I didn't have chance to film a lot yesterday, but I did manage to get some clips. I hope you guys enjoyed the clips that I showed you guys now that is what the work that we got done yesterday but today we are actually way deeper in and we discovered so much more work but let me show you guys where do I start? The first patch that they started with was here because here was a rust hole over here and they put this plate in here, welded it up as you guys can see there's no more holes and everything is solid this is what I want to see but let me actually show you guys the rest of the rust because that is not even, that wasn't even bad at all they had to completely rebuild. I'm sure you guys saw in the clips that this part they had to completely cut out and rebuild, make this whole plate up to fit in here. As well as I think Ryan just finished this plate over here as well. And he's busy with the floor now. But let me show you guys how it actually looks on the inside. As you guys can see, the bucky is completely stripped. And um, this is on the driver's side. This isn't as bad actually because this is just a hole here. But on that side, it basically total in the corner, as you guys can see there, Ryan is busy rebuilding the entire section there with plate that is welding in. I don't know where John is, I'm gonna show you guys John's face now, but John is here somewhere around. Um, but yeah, this process, I wasn't planning on doing this at all yet or getting the bucket as stripped as it is because the plan was for us to just bring it here get the floor welded 
and then start the process for paint prep because actually I'm tailing the bucky so I was planning to use the bucky um, for the during the festive season basically because I'll be working a lot but then we discovered this as you guys can see here this is where the windscreen sits and they've tried to repair it before as you guys can see it's rusting around that and that's not even the worst part over here this is where the water came in all along when i when i was washing the bucky so this needs to be rebuilt and this side there's also some work need, that needs to be done there but yeah so far we're making progress let's see ryan yeah i was lekker <laughs> So guys, since the last update that you guys saw on how far we got, we got the floor welder up and I'm so grateful that we got that done. I just want to give a huge shout out to Jean and um, Ryan for sorting me out with the welding. What I want to do now actually is I want to show you guys the condition of what the bucky is at the moment and what we currently sitting with. And um, yeah, I just, I'll just rather show you guys. By the way, talking about the devil, look who shows up, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> Before I get into all the issues that uh, we ran into, let me just show you guys how Sean and Ryan fixed the floor for me. That is basically the corner there that was completely rusted as I, got, as I showed you guys in the previous one of the clips. And they also rebuilt the corner piece for me there. On this side, they closed that big ass hole that was in the floor. And there was also a few smaller patches that they closed to me, like here, the and so on. Um, I'm really happy with how they fixed the floor for me, and I'm really grateful that for Ryan and John because if I didn't have them, I don't know, I probably wouldn't have trusted anyone to just do that for me, and I probably would have attempted to do it myself, and then it wouldn't have looked that way. But they did a really good job for me and I am really happy with that. But let me show you guys the actual issues that we have with the bucket at the moment. So let's start with the biggest issue that I have at the moment. This is a patch that they, the previous owner, I don't know who, attempted to weld up. And um, as you guys can see, this whole, this entire section was built with body filler to be straight. And um, I started chopping in one of the corners and I noticed that the body filler goes up over the roof and this is what I found under. So that's a big red flag for me over there. On this side, this is what it looked like on the other side. This was also built with body filler. So I'm not really happy with what's going on here. Also this part is completely rusted guys on both sides. Even on the inside, like there you can see this hole right there. Um, this body filler in this entire section down here so that is one issue for me also this back part doesn't look really nice then here in front this panel was also attempted to be welded and well you guys can see that it wasn't done very neatly and this was also built with body filler and um, yeah I'm not happy with that so to make a very long story short I am going to cut off this roof and we, I'm currently in the process of looking for a new roof for the bucky or just a better conditioned roof because I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna attempt to fix that. I will never sleep at night if I do fix that. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then that's basically the biggest issue. That is the biggest obstacle that I have at the moment is to find the roof and to weld the roof. And luckily you guys know I don't need to struggle with finding someone to weld the roof for me because that we've got sorted. Um, so yeah, before I end of this video, I just want to show you guys something else as well. The boys and I are in the process of removing this huge tree so that we can get more cars into the back here. So um, yeah, hopefully by the next video, we will have this thing out. We have been digging for the past two days and as you guys can see, we basically dug up the whole route. 
So guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully by the next time you, you guys see a video from us, the tree will be removed and we can get the cars into the back. And who knows, with more space, we might even be able to buy more cars. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think of that idea. See you guys in the next one. Stay safe.